Frank, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm excited about this uh, hot mess that I've heard so much about. Already feeling the heat coming off this oven. I'm excited to find out what this dish is all about. It's about many flavors. It's smoky, salty, sweet. It's, it's me. <laughs> it's no, it's just really a really just very loud pizza. So I think we should start with the dough first. And that's where it really all begins. If you don't have good dough, you're not gonna have a good pie. Yeah, totally. And so this is the dough. <laughs> <laughs> and you just spread it out with your fingers? Yeah. You're never tempted to just toss it up? No, I mean, I, I don't like doing that. So we use, this is a durum flour. When I was researching dough, I learned that a lot of pizzolas would get white lung. This stuff just falls right to the ground where the caputo is, it gets airborne. Is there ever a moment where it's quiet and nobody else is around you're ever tempted just to try it? You know, because when yeah, I was, yeah. when I was oh, a yeah. kid, that's all I wanted to do was toss pizza dough up. Oh yeah, I, I catch my crew throwing in the air all the time, man. But it's cool. So the edge of a pizza is called a cornicione. What I'm doing is I'm taking care not to crush the cornicione, and I'm opening it up, and then I'll take it and I'll open it. So elastic. Even more. Then we take a pizza peel, put a little bit of flour on it. At this point, right now, we start with cheese. Oh, we're talking about a white pie here. Yeah, we kind of specialize in white pies here. So we have very unique flavors. We don't put a white sauce on them. We throw some cheese on here. This is the mozzarella? Yeah. This is the mozzarella. <laughs> After that, you get the caramelized onions go on top. These are really sweet and really salty. Then we have your jalapenos, which these are brined for about 10 days. The thing with jalapenos, it's, I, it's called the hot mess for a reason, because it's supposed to, you're supposed to sweat when you eat it. And we finish it with, with our house-made bacon. Oh, so I'm guessing this is some pretty good bacon. Yeah, yeah, it's it's incredible. We cure it and then we smoke it. Well, my dad, I have to stop him from stealing my bacon. Now we want to finish it off with a little of our olive oil. And then from here it goes into the oven. Okay, well, I've, uh, <laughs> I've been feeling the burn from this oven on my back and it's so mesmerizing watching these flames kind of leap across. It's an Italian domed oven, so it recirculates the hot air over and over again. You just gotta keep adding wood to it. And um, what kind of wood are you adding to it? We have oak. I want a tight grained wood. The tighter the grain, the harder it is to burn. It gives off massive BTUs. It adds a sweetness and a smokiness that you otherwise just aren't gonna get in a gas oven. So I'll let you work your magic. Sure, sure. Take my pie. You can see the flames are licking now. We're good. You can throw this in there. So what are you looking for on the, uh, how do you say, cornicione? The corn, yeah. Cross design, the, we call it. <laughs> the cornicione, I'm looking for a nice, like, shade of golden brown, mahogany, and black. We want char on there. Char is a bitterness, and that adds flavor. It's not burnt, just char. Yeah. So, I would say it's, that's it. <laughs> wow, look at the bubbles. Yeah, it's hot. And then from here, we'll throw on some Gruyere cheese. It's, it's a great melting cheese. So I'll raise it to get the heat. The term is doming, and what you're doing is kind of a finishing the pie off. You want to just quickly fill in the rest of the colors with the nice mahogany. And then that's it, oh, that basically. A thing of beauty. Let's head to the table and give it a try. All right. I've been to Italy, I've had their pizza, and I didn't want to emulate it because I know that it's not quite possible to get the produce that they have there, here. I was just trying to create something my own. There's a lot of nuances in pizza that people don't really think about. And it's just not what's on it. It's the crumb, the crust, it's every little detail. And we really care about the quality of the food and I want, I want it to be the best. All right, Frank, well, I want to honor the hot mess. I want to try it while it's hot out of the oven. That is flavorful like you promised. Hot, 
smoky and surprisingly sweet, too. I'm like sweating looking at the jalapenos <laughs> right now. That's a nice slice of white pizza. You know, normally I'm a red sauce kind of guy. Yeah, me too. This might be able to make a convert. <laughs> you know, a Neapolitan pie, you pick it up, it's just dripping wet. It kind of holds its shape. Yep, that's the goal. <laughs> not a knife and fork pizza. Definitely not, unless you want to. You know, that char, now and get up near the crust, it does give it yeah. kind of that little bitterness. That char is a different, it's bitter, it's not sour, it's bitter, so it's got many different textures. The smell, you can smell it, and it's really a pretty pie, too, you know, it's got like little gems on it. It's <laughs> it, gl it, gl it glistens a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it does glisten. The happy, I mean, it's uh, got some cheese on it, you know? <laughs> Well, it's delicious. It's amazing how much is involved from the work with the dough, getting that fire just right in the oven, to being able to have this hot, bubbly, hot mess on the table. Thanks for showing me all the steps and the- My pleasure. Back. Thanks, Frank. Absolutely.